Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Scratch your bounty. Good morning. How are you doing? Give people a few time, a little bit of time to get on. I know it's Saturday morning and everybody's busy at work um, and I'm getting ready to get started. Um, but I wanted to do this quick broadcast. Um, it will be, I like to download it and actually convert it to a YouTube video. So for those who miss it or if you find value in this scope, um, just uh, share the link. Follow me on, um, I'll share the link on Twitter at Miss Tammy Golden. So you'll be able to um, come back on um, or actually watch this later because I know a lot of people are busy in the hair industry. Um, so this morning I'm going to Disneyland. OK, so I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm super, super excited about it. And actually, I'm not going to Disneyland. <laughs> I'm actually going to share some, um, um, I think, some valuable information um, which is up leading to a class, a free training that I'm actually going to host on Monday. So it kind of goes right in line with what I'm going to be sharing on Monday. So I just wanted to share this with you and invite you to the training. Um, it's free Google Hangout on Monday morning. But um, basically, when I say I'm going to Disneyland, I'm actually going to share about this article that I read on Disneyland. And I live in Southern California, so um, we have our version of Disney World, which is actually Disneyland. Um, being that I'm a native from Florida, uh, Disneyland is really just basically the Magic Kingdom. Um, and that's about it with a few more smaller attractions, but it actually has nothing on Disney World itself. And so um, I was just reading an article basically saying that Disneyland um, just kind of just raised their prices. And it was kind of a quite of a shock to everyone. Um, I, my son is 24, so I haven't been to Disneyland in forever. And I hear people talking about buying passes and they go quite frequently, especially in Southern California. They were basically, um, you know, adding incentives to get people to come um, on a regular basis and become like frequent users. And so that was, you know, happening and they were making good money. That pass is about seven hundred and fifty dollars a year to become an annual member to go to Disneyland. So basically in reading this article, so I'm going to look down because I'm, I'm just reading my notes and I'm sharing with you guys. Um, Basically, there's like seven reasons why Disneyland um, did this upgrade and how it's going to impact their business. First of all, they raised their they have like three tickets to get in for the annual membership. And um, they actually raised the top tier at 35 percent. And um, that's like a big jump. It's kind of creating a little hoopla, you know, with people that actually frequent or actually hold that pass right now. And for 2016, it's going to go up. So. Um, it just made me think about like my industry, which is a beauty industry and hairstylists. You know, I, I, you know, wrote a book called Charge Your Worth and I teach a class based on that book. And I'm always surprised the stylists are always struggling to one, to find their price list two to give themselves a raise. Um, and it's just a, it's just a constant battle. I run into stylists with that. And I, I actually had that battle in my, you know, first probably five, seven years of my career. And I just learned to overcome it. And sometimes you just have to raise your prices. Um, the economy changes, things shift, and you want to stay in your profit zone. Um, if, and if you don't know what your profit zone is, you need to join me on Monday on this free training that, that I'm going to do. But first of all, I'm going to just share these quick seven tips because I know people are working and need to get back to work. Um, so the first thing is they raised their prices 35%. OK, and they got rid of they actually added blackout dates for their holidays, you know, um, so that actually prevents people from coming on the busiest days. So if you have the annual pass, they're reserving the, their busiest days for people who are going to be spending cash on the spot that day. So that kind of like reminds me like I have memberships in my salon or I do bundle deals. But sometimes on like a busy day, let's say Christmas Eve or whatever, Easter or whatever, you don't want to have your day full up with people that have your passes. So they have blackout dates. That's like a note like you could take or a strategy you could add into your business. So they have blackout dates so that they actually are getting top dollar on their busiest days. Um, then so they actually raise their price 35 percent in that area. Anywhere from nine to 35 percent, they raise their price. Second, um, you know, why did they raise their price? Because they had a big demand. Uh, Disneyland is extremely busy. So if your salon, if your chair is extremely busy, you cannot take anybody else. You are in demand. If you want to grow to your next level, you're going to have to weed out some people that may be at your bottom price point and create a new, a higher price point to make room for new people and to give yourself a raise. Because if your book is maxed out, you got people sitting all over the shop. 
people waiting in lines down the street. People can't make an appointment. You're squeezing people in. You're trying to service everybody. You're going crazy Two, um, That means it's time to give yourself a raise. If you're that busy, it's time to give yourself a raise. So and it's not like, oh, my God, I don't want to get rid of my clients. It's 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 business. And you're not getting rid of your clients. You're just identifying who can fit in your price point. Move your business up. And there's plenty of style, you know, there's plenty of barbers, there's plenty of stylists, nail techs to go around that other people will be able to service them. But you have to think of yourself as a business and make sure you're staying in the profit zone. And when you're maxed out, it's time to go to the next level. If, if you stay at that level where you're overcrowded, you're going to have unhappy clients because you're always crowded. It just always seems uncomfortable. It always seems congested in your space. So now to and that client who wants to come, who doesn't mind spending that money with you, you got to make room to give them a better experience, which means they don't mind paying your haircut, maybe thirty dollars. And now your price goes up to forty five dollars, fifty dollars. But if it's less crowded and the experience becomes better, you know, there's extra services there. There's extra little things to make them feel comfortable. Those that level of client doesn't mind paying. So. One, the demand was great. They're able to go up Two, the revenue. They're in business basically to make money. And if you're in business, you should be in business to make money. So basically, Disneyland was willing to lose 35 percent of their business to make room for 35 percent new people paying the top dollar. OK, that just that just makes sense. Um, next, they were actually um Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's my other note? Oh, so so they were actually ba- um, um, basically able to raise their annual pass to um, reach that higher price point to make room f- for that new client. Next, they were able to charge for parking. Their annual pass, their annual pass came with like free parking, and and they realized like, gosh, our parking lot is overcrowded. Um, we have clients that are waiting in line forever to get on rides. So if are, you know, if nobody can, you know, they're paying 99 bucks a day. The the non-members are paying 99 bucks a day. They can't even get on a ride. So they come into place and they can only ride three or four rides. That was um, causing their daily ticket users to actually lose, you know, interest in even coming because it was so crowded and they were losing money on the parking lot. So they got rid of the annual pass thing so that they didn't have to worry about giving up the free parking. Um, next creating a better client uh, customer experience. So they, you know, once again, they want to offer a better experience and offering new services or, you know, new experience to new, um, new patrons or new customers to the park or for you stylists in the salon to be able to, you know, spend more money with them. That's the bottom line. And then the, their, their last reason is just basically thinning out their audience. When your business is so so big and they're actually getting ready to launch this big Star Wars things and you know how those Star Wars people are that's a whole new set of customers for them so what type of service could you add or what level of experience of service that would actually give you an influx of new customers that would raise your ticket and give you more money you know or create a new income stream inside your business let's put it like that and you're probably saying what is she talking about Join me Monday on this free training that I'm going to do because um, on a Periscope, this is real brief. Um, so if you want to join the free training on Monday, um, go on my Twitter page or my Instagram, um, the beauty CEO on um, Instagram and and inbox me your email, um, a Gmail account because I'm, I'm going to do a Google Hangout. So that's going to be the best way for you to reach me. Um, to join. That's the email that I need to add you to the Google Hangout. So you want to go there or just email me at um, uh, Tame Salon, T-A-M-E-S-A-L-O-N at gmail.com. And I will add you to the Google Hangout. I'll be posting it on my um, social media pages as well. So this is a free training. But um, the last thing I wanted to share, they're thinning out their crowd to make room for a new stream of income. Um, within the park, which is going to be the Star Wars, which is going to be in the next two years. But they're already making making preparations for that, lightening their load. They're not losing any money by any means. They're just taking some of the weight off the park, getting rid of some of the people that were at the lower price point and making room for some new people. So I just wanted to share that. It just, you know, really, you know, kind of like struck me. And how did that pertain to our industry? And what could I learn from that? 
and what could I share with my um, fellow stylists or beauty industry professionals. So I'm the beauty CEO, um, always thinking about creating economic opportunities within the beauty industry. Yes, we do need multiple streams in the chair, behind the chair, on top of the salon, uh, the salon, the side of the salon, wherever you can get it is is something to be, to be added to your business. So follow me on Instagram at the beauty CEO. Um, and on my Twitter, um, I'm not on Twitter a lot. I do this Periscope thing at Miss Tammy Golden. So I'll be doing a Google Hangout free training, free training based on my book, Charge Your Worth, identifying your um, rate per hour. If you don't know what your rate per hour is now, if you want to increase your rate per hour, if you want to um, learn more. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to be sharing uh, my 10 tips. It's Christmas time. So Santa Claus is coming to town as well. And a lot of people don't want to hear about that, but you need to be ready. So I'm also going to share 10 marketing tips that you can use to create and increase and enhance your revenue for the holiday season. So um, I'm going to post this on um, YouTube, share it with as many people as you know, invite as many people as you know, Monday, 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I like to talk money in the morning, early in the morning. So no nighttime money calls. Wake up, paper, pen, join me, paper, pen, ready to take notes um, and um, get ready to rock this holiday season out. So I'll see you guys. Talk to you later.